Hi everyone. Hi. In this video, we will be showing you how to get ready for the flight attendance interview. So today we are going to cover makeup, then hair, and eventually we'll move on to dress code, formal dress code for the airlines interview. And later in the video, we will also be talking about do's and don't for the interview. Yes, what is acceptable and what is not acceptable when getting ready for the flight attendance interview. Let's do it. Okay. Now Sheetal is going to apply makeup on me. So let's get started. It's very important to moisturize the face before applying makeup. Apply some from the back as well. Now we are using matte concealer to conceal the spots. Dark circles or freckles, it will conceal everything well. Choose a concealer that is one tone darker than your skin, so it will blend well with your skin. Also always dab. You can either use your finger or you can use a sponge. I'm more comfortable with the fingers. Remember to wash your hands before you start applying makeup. If you're using your finger, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Sheetal, are you going to use just that? Or are you going to mix it with something else? So basically, this uh, foundation. Okay. It's a bit dark for your skin, so I'm thinking of using a BB cream which I have. I'm using it, it's lighter in tone, so okay. I'm thinking of mixing the two so that you know it becomes a little lighter as you all can see. So I'll mix the two. Mix two foundations or you can mix, like Sheetal said, a foundation with a BB cream to yeah. get your perfect tone. Don't forget the nick here. Looks perfect for girls' skin. Don't you think so, Kiran? Yes, of course. See, I'll know when I'll see the final result, but yes. But you can trust me. Yes, I do. And please remember, whenever you are applying foundation or any cream on your face and you're using a sponge, do not just rub it like that. You have to dab, otherwise, it's going to damage your skin and you're going to get more wrinkles. So, here, don't forget the neck is very important because it has to look similar to your face. So I think we are pretty much done with the foundation. Okay. So this is how your skin is going to look like. I think Kiran's skin is looking more raw. Even now, after the foundation. After the foundation, now I am going to apply this compact on Kiran's skin. It's a matte compact that I am using. It's called Max Studio Fix. See, none of us is a professional makeup artist. However, we have learnt it on the job. Correct. We've been taught to get ready by the grooming experts when we were working with the airlines. So we have a fair idea of how to get ready for the interview as well as for the flights and after setting the foundation we'll move on to the eye makeup i'm using this mac palette today if i'm going for an airlines interview i would avoid these colors these bright colors i would go for these subtle colors so let's start with the lighter color first so i'm using this color on kira So you should go for earthy colors, more neutral colors. I'm thinking of a little darker shade for contouring. So I'll go for this color. I would recommend that, you know, you go for a peach or as Kiran mentioned brown. earlier, brown. Yes. We'll move on to highlighter. So I'm going to highlight Kiran's this area. Let's try this color. I'm using this Sephora. Always start from the middle. 
So let's move on to her eyebrows. Kiran already has a very nice shade of eyebrows. This is a note real look mascara. with Indian skin so you start it from the temple and you just put it up the stroke should be upwards from here and this is what I've been taught by my grooming instructor apply now have a hair net right now so I won't be able to show it to you but it's very simple you just get the hair net and put it around your bun that's it it gives you more neater look high ponytail and you can make a puff in front you just take your hair and just twist it and lift it and then secure it with two pins informative we'll be back with another video soon thank you